One by one, sea creatures on this reef in the Pacific are unaware their every move is being recorded as they swirl around a camera baited with fish. The cameras are part of a worldwide effort to count sharks. An ocean away off the Florida Keys. All right, Mike, hold open. Marine biologist Mike Heithouse is taking part in the first of its kind census. The process is tedious. On any one day, we may only put five or ten cameras in. Video cameras sit below these metal cages. Chunks of ground up fish are put inside each cage. Got it? Then lowered 60 to 80 feet. Now the waiting period starts. Between the time that the bait goes in the water and the time you may see sharks, it could be a couple minutes or longer. After an hour and a half, the cameras are lifted back up. On this dive, plenty of fish tried to get the bait, but not one shark came by. Over in the Bahamas, researchers captured close-ups of the top predators. The count is far from exact science. How can you tell that you're not counting the same shark over and over? We don't just count the total number of sharks we see swim through the frame. We kind of go through it and find out one frame what's the most sharks we see at any one time. So you can't possibly count the same shark twice. Okay. Ready? Yep. For the next three years, expeditions like this will take place all over the world, with cameras capturing activity at more than 400 reefs, generating 50,000 hours of tape. In general, where you have lots of sharks, you have healthy reefs. What we want to know is why that is, so that we can prioritize areas where we might want to protect sharks or where sharks are in trouble, where we might actually want to rebuild their populations. That can be a challenge. Scientists estimate some 100 million sharks are captured every year for fins and meat, and they're slower to reproduce than other fish. Some can take more than a decade before having offspring. Scientists hope the data they collect leads to conservation efforts. There are a lot of people that rely on sharks for resources. It's about, you know, how do we work with coastal communities to make sure that they are sustainable from the human and economic perspective, but also the environmental perspective. Getting a clearer picture now of life underwater is critical to making that happen. Ines Frey, Al Jazeera, in the Florida Keys.